Hello, thank you for joining me today. And for uh, today's technique, I have a get well card. And what's so cute about this one is when you open it, there's a little miniature box of tissues and just one tissue in there. Something different. I did see this, uh, well, something similar to this on YouTube and uh, Pinterest. So I'll show you what I've used or what we are using. The paper, which I think is absolutely beautiful, that background, and this is from the same uh, 12 by 12 paper pad. This is uh, by Craft Sensations, uh, soft vintage, 12 by 12 papers, and they are stunning. So nice. I really don't want to use them, but you can't go collecting these papers and not use them. So there you are. Absolutely gorgeous. Put that to one side. And I have Nouveau Glue, Memento Sweet Plum in part. I've used several shapes, several sizes, I should say, of these dies. And I have no idea if they're um, spellbinders or by somebody else. One sentiment which is on the front of the card, Feel Better Soon, is by Creative Expressions. And the one on the front, no, oh, sorry, Feel Better Soon. Is on the front and the one inside for you beautiful and today I got my tonic craft kit number 19 and part of the kit you get these stamps um, and they're a good size font and I just think they are absolutely gorgeous so I used for you beautiful on there but you will be seeing um, lots more cards with using these sentiments and the two sweet gems there are from the Nouveau collection and the colour is Rose Triad. The flowers um, are by the company that was Wild Orchid Crafts but I think they have now uh, sold that business on to another company. I'll just put this to one side and we'll get started. So what I did was using a piece of A4 cardstock and this is um, a deep purple, mid purple, mid purple. Folded this in half scored it and folded it in half and that gives us A5, that's an English A5. And then using another piece of the papers from the 12 inch paper pad, I cut that to leave just a little border around there. This is again using some paper from that pad and I've got that as you see there. And you need to put your paper um, on there first because the tissue box is glued down like that. Of course you could make that smaller but I like that that way. So. A4 cardstock, scored 
um, in half gives you an A5. And then we have the smaller mats with the paper. And then what you need to do for your tissue box. Now I have already done this just to save time. But I'll get this out. You want another piece of card that measures five by three and a half. And on this card, you'll score at one inch. Sorry, you'll score at half an inch, two inches, three inches and four and a half inches. It's these two smaller pieces that glue together and give you that box shape. And then ignore that die cut at the moment. Just burnish your score lines. And then to make the orifice, the hole, to get your tissue out. If you have a punch, you could use that. I had one, uh, well, the two I have, one was far too small and the other was far too big. So this is when I brought in the second size of that die set and die cut that as so. And what you want to do next is, we'll have to think about this, um, yes. So on the other end of this piece, on this first fold, what you need to do is where your um, crease line is, your score line, this score line here needs to go right onto the score line, just like that. So add your glue to that piece, just like that. And hold that down. And then you can turn that over. And this piece, this end, needs to butt up to that piece. So this end butts up to that piece, like that. So we can add our glue to this piece. Get that down like that. sure it's all adhered well and then you can see that when you close that card the box flattens so what we need to do on the underneath is add some glue there
glue that into position like that you would stamp a sentiment or if you're going to write something personal um, you could do that as the next step but in the meantime have I only have the man size tissue so get your tissue and then you could pop that in there and when you close it this will fit in an envelope um, a five size no problem and when you open that there's a tissue I think this is um, a great idea it's so cute and then on the front I added those flowers and the sentiment and then the um, rose triad gems does it say on there pure sheen just put two on there. I have already um, done another sentiment again using those same dies. Which I think I'll still put. I'll put in this over to the right more. And I'm not going to add any flowers yet because this one is going to a friend of mine who likes roses and I will keep this spare uh, just in case I need to send another one to someone and um, then I'll decide what other decoration I'm doing on this. I hope you give this a try. It's really good. I really love it. Um, instead of the tissue box you could always um, have a, a solid box this size with a lid and you could put some chocolates in there that's another nice idea I hope you've enjoyed that thank you um, for spending some time with me and I will see you at the next video I will have this, this will be on my blog as well, um, measurements, and I hope to see you at the next video. Bye.